Uh, five bucks, pure torture. This is Kabuki Warriors, and we're going to be playing the tour mode, where the entirety of everything that you need to see in this game is here. We have a four-player option in here, which the game fails to say on the back of the cover, where it says number of players, but you can actually sucker three other people to join into the suffering of this game. And I'm gonna tell you straight out, I have played my fair share of fighting games. I love Tekken, I love Soul Calibur. I am a big fan of those styles of games. I'm, I'm uh, okay at Street Fighter 2, more combat, I'm kinda iffy of a fan kinda deal. But this is bar none. One of the worst fighting games I've ever had. This is a pleasure to ever play. This is worse than Brave Masters. This is worse than uh, Mortal Kombat and Deadly Alliance and the Game Boy Advance. There was a Street Fighter 2 in the Game Boy game, and that was way more combat than this ever race to be. Graphics wise, hey, what you see is what you get. Dirty, muddy, Extremely piss poor models. Like even for a day, it looks like a freaking clay fighters kind of clone. And the two fighters in the footage, what you're seeing right here, it, they look totally the similar. They have the exact same animations. They have exact same controls. And speaking of animations, uh, all the fighters in the game. They look like they can barely handle the whole concept of masturbation, and that's how you go from place to place. You have to either pay or just go next door and pay nothing and make a ton of cash to get a great high score. But seriously, it looks like they went to the local drunken master and said, We want to learn how to fight with weapons. So, okay. Uh, just do this and this. Just swing around like freaking putts. And that's what they did. I've seen drunken bar fights better than the fights in this game. Like, come on. Could you not have come up with, like, some ripoff, like, samurai move from movies and whatever? And that's not even the worst part about it the backgrounds. As you can clearly see, they're all hand drawn. They look like they took half an hour to draw, and they just said, "Let's roll with it. Let's put the stage kind of rest around it and call it a day." And that's only the start of it. The audio is horrible. It's like one guy did all the voice acting in the game. There's no female voice, it's just the same guy talking over every person. And it's he's just saying like most random Japanese kinds of stuff. Right here I lost because uh, I'm a moron and the game tried to freaking uh, jerk me around with the controls I was trying to block and I end up taunting. I think that mirror has something to do with like a special move, but uh, you, know, you probably never figured them out because the controls are pretty dang bad. Not to mention the whole Yo! If that doesn't annoy you to no end, the, what's really gonna annoy you is the gameplay. Let's start off. Uh, one button for attack. Who came up with that idea? Wait, seriously, Smash Brothers, I believe, was two, a year or two away. Yeah, and the, that game had like lots of power ups and lots of different options. But basically, you can do an up strike, a down strike, or a medium right, uh, medium body strike. And you gotta block, but block up for upper strike, block down for lower strike, and just hit the X button for lower strike, for a middle strike. Which, oddly enough, can always, for the most part, you can block the mail strike. I know that it's stupid. As far as the controls are concerned, they feel sloppy, sluggish, and just as sporadic as 
the animations in the game. And there's almost no replay value to the game. As soon as you figure out all the combos in the game, you'll blast through the tour room. Even on your first try, it should take you an hour and half an hour. And after that, you'll probably put this on the shelf, or you'll dig a hole and bury this game and never bring it up ever again. Overall, this is, like I said, the worst fighting game I've ever played in my life. I've played many of my day, my day, but at least some of them confidence, like some of them had power ups and whatever, but come on, this is a, this is supposed to compete with Soul Calibur, it's supposed to compete with Tekken, Tekken Tag Tournament. Tekken 3, which I would highly recommend you play that over this. Like, seriously? If you're looking for torture, go ahead and spend five bucks to buy this. I don't know how much it goes on eBay, but I checked it out for five bucks pretty easily. But, if you want to play a game where it looks like the monkeys could have done better, then go ahead and be my guest. And, I don't like saying that there's nothing good in a game. I have always tried to look for the light, no matter how bad the game is. Like, I'll say, oh, if you got a little kid, then uh, he'll probably find stuff to enjoy in this game. Or if you're a fan of this kind of game, then there's fun to be had. I'll go on record and say there is no fun to be had. And I've been writing games for five years. I have never seen a fighting game this broken, this useless, and this pointless. And in general, I have only ever given four games to zero. Shao the Hedgehog, uh, Rock Revolution on DS, Ultimate Band on the DS, and this is going to be number four. I thought there was a fourth game, but uh, this is number four four on the list of zeros. I hope to God I never have to play this again. And I hope to God nobody tells me, oh, let's play this. And I'm like, you really want to suffer through this? this because I don't. And Kabuki Warriors doesn't have the piss-off factor as Rock Revolution, but that is not saying that much. Overall, Kabuki Warriors gets a 0 out of 10. And if you have any kind of brains in your skull, then don't buy it, don't rent it, don't look it up. All you need is a little bit of footage, and you're like, oh, I'm never ever gonna buy this. Seriously, you play games like this, so you don't have to. And that's it for me. I will see you with the next review. Hopefully it'll be better than this.